If you don't want me, there's the door. <laughs> My boyfriend's so cute. Why do girls want to be inside of guys' skin so much? I don't understand. I said car play will really get you caught and fucked up. I swear to God. Oh my God. Car play, you will see the name of the person that's texting. You will see the emoji. See, don't want to slap this whip reverse. What's on the west? We pull up and burst. Wow. This GTC's done mileage. Really can't afford to crash and burn. Can I bend down and black your back? Feel free, free, that's all I tap. <laughs> Please jumpy, your trust me, don't like What's good, ODN gang? I'm back again with another banger. Hopefully, I released my last video before I dropped this. If I did, I hope you guys enjoyed that concept. We've got a lot more episodes of Persona Blind Dates coming out. But for today, I just thought I'd come on a chilled vibe and just give you my nice convo. I'm back home with my family for a bit. I'm running back to another country soon. But I just jazzed up this room a bit and I just thought, I just come and have a little chilled chit chat kind of video for you guys because you know what I'm always on Twitter like whenever I'm bored I know some people use TikTok I'm always on Twitter because that app be making me fucking laugh like I literally be creasing so I just thought okay cool let me actually go on Twitter and just be reacting to the things that I see while on camera because why am I laughing to myself it just makes no sense I know I got my hood and I'm looking bummy guys I'm sorry I've just not been the most at the self care, you know, getting a haircut, looking sexy. I've not been doing that for a while. Just been, just been working, just been focusing on myself. Um, but yeah, guys, before I start the video, please make sure you follow me on every single platform, especially Instagram. I just feel like Instagram is so dead now, and like no one just uses it anymore. And I don't want my Instagram to die because like. Actually, I don't really care if it does or not, but I want you guys to follow me on there as well because, like, that's where I actually be trying to look cute and so on and so forth. So, guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Add up my Snap. My Snap is, like, the most entertaining platform that I have. Like, you see me at my most natural self. Like, and I always add up, like, practically everyone that has me on there. So, make sure you add me on Snap as well. And uh, follow me on every other platform, even Twitter as well because this is what I'm going to be using for today. Guys, I'm filming at very late hours just because, you know, I don't want anyone to be texting me and saying, Oh, hey, like, I miss you. Like, I don't want you guys to be seeing that, you get me? Even though no one's going to be texting that, you get me? I'm not that type of guy. Um, So I'm, I'm filming at late hours. As soon as I finish, I'm asleep. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Literally comment your favourite part in the comment section. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know if you want to see more Twitter talks. Uh, without no further ado, before I start, guys, let me show you a clip. This is when I was in secondary school. And I was involved in selling Lucas Aid. Okay, I, I admit it, I've said it, I was involved in such crime. Okay, hold on, where is it? <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me start it again. I hope you guys can hear it actually. You might not be able to hear it, but you'll be able to hear it from my phone. But yeah, watch. If you're having those all day, your, your parents are happy with you to have all those donuts. And we're looking at every single day. They're happy, man, darling. It's it, man. In secondary school, we all literally used to sell either it was Lucas Aid or it was Donuts, it was something, but this guy got caught and obviously big up my nigga Mr. Haslow. He was literally asking him, your parents are happy with you having this amount of Lucas Aid, this amount of Donuts for yourself. Like, and he was saying, yeah, like, come on. How were we so dumb when we was young? We was actually saying, yeah, I have five packs of Donuts and six packs of Lucas Aid for myself. That is just... <laughs> Anyways, let's get straight into Twitter. All right, cool, guys. I'm literally gonna be watching if it's videos, if it's whatever I see that I'm gonna see as well. We're just screen recording. Um, the first thing you're not seeing anything yet. One bedroom flat. Uh, 2.3. Okay, don't know what's going on here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This vaping thing is getting a bit out of hand now. Like, what the fuck? Like, why Why is this guy... The pipe is the same size as him. Like, he literally... He looks like he's the same size as the, as the pipe. And he's even dancing like he's happy. This vaping business is really, really taking over the world. And what, what I was saying to someone the other day is that vaping is actually a flavorized cigarette. Like, you're, what people... I was going to say we. I don't, I'm not really involved in vaping. I've tried it once or twice, I admit. But, um... Those that, that vape, you're literally smoking flavoured cigarettes. Like, it has the same impact. If if not the same, probably worse. So, anyways, I don't really want to talk about it because you guys will probably see me vaping one place or the other. It's just, it's live share. Um, oh my goodness me. Anyways, I can't even put this one out. Let's just, let's just, yeah. It's, 
Oh god. Anyways. Um you wear a Burberry shirt to the baby shower. Why shouldn't he? I don't understand. That's the life that we live. No, do you know one thing I love? I love when Twitter gives humor that you shouldn't understand, but you understand. This is oh hell no, the jalapeno's got a jalapenis. <laughs> You know, if I ever got, if I ever had a pepper like this and I saw this, honestly, I think I'm gonna, I will never cook this. I will, I will have to hang this up. How did it get to this? And I said the jalapeno's got a jalapeno. <laughs> oh my God, this app is too stupid, man. I said CarPlay will really get you caught and fucked up. I swear to God. Oh my God. CarPlay, you will see the name of the person that's texting. You will see the emoji. Like, to the point where you can even accidentally click on it and it will say the message out loud. Guys, if you have a car and it has CarPlay, don't connect it with whoever you're next to. Especially if you don't want to get yourself caught. Don't do that. That's one thing I would say right now. Because the name is going to come up. It's going to tell you who's texting you. And then the girl's going to look at you like, mm, who the fuck is Lisa? And <laughs> from there, you're in trouble. Do not use Apple CarPlay. Let me see what people are saying. That's why I unplug my charger so fast. Yeah, that that's one thing you have to really avoid, honestly. Oh my god, funny enough, we were just talking about vape. Master that tried to run away with a vape. Some people will actually move mad. This is probably a joke, he's probably exaggerating, but some people actually can't cope without a vape. Like it's just it's crazy. This is yeah, that's that's mad. Um Japan. I'm gonna watch that again. What the fuck? If someone accidentally got in the way of that train, that's more than RIP. That one there is is KIP. What the hell? Why is it so fast? Ah! Ah! Oh my! I felt the impact from home. Jesus! Oh my god! My boyfriend's so cute. Why do girls want to be inside of guys' skin so much? I don't understand. Why? Do, how? Where do you girls get this level of love for your partner so much that you just want to be inside of them? You just want to. You just want to swallow them. I don't understand. Where do you guys get this level of love from? Like I've been with my partner and like yeah, like I love being around her or I've loved being around her, but like I, sometimes just move out of the way. Like why you? Why do you want to enter me? It's just. It's a bit mad. It was just a bit mad, honestly. But you know, um, can someone tell me how to get rid of face fat? There's actually some exercises that can help you lose face fat. Turn your head to the left, then turn your head to the right. Do this a few times. Now do that every time someone offers you a food. <laughs> My god, this app is so evil. How can even reading it? I thought this guy was gonna give serious help. How can I say turn your head to the left, then turn your head to the right, and then start doing this every time someone offers you food? You can never get help on Twitter. One thing I can tell you is if you think someone is going to help you, forget it. Someone is gonna they're gonna boil you up. How come I no, nah, that's such a vile. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. This is a wild way to find out you're pregnant. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll be walking around. Let me know if you have any questions. So here's your liver. Your gallbladder, stomach, and then that was your uterus. Your uterus. What's that? No, that has to be fake. There's no way she didn't know she was pregnant. That that has to be fake. But look at the, look. Guys, look at it. The girls, the other girls definitely didn't know. Because look at this girl's face. Hold on. Look at the black girl's face. She was shocked. <laughs> she was shocked. She did not believe that. That is mad. I think that's such a good way to let your friends know you're pregnant. They will, they will be so, yeah. Oh. I don't, I, I don't know anything about Caesar, but I might start listening to her music. What's this? Kidding, child of God. Um, okay, let's keep going. Men that actually apply pressure. I, I love seeing girls say things like this because let's see this men that apply pressure. Okay. So right now, 
So R&D 2 at the movies tonight. That one, just not too late because I have work. I was thinking like 3 or 4 Halloween or Barbadian. I was thinking Barbadian. Yeah, that's cool. I've been to see the Barbarian. Tickets got booked, 4 or 5. Bro, my thug. We came in Jeffrey. Uh, I love how he just told me what the fuck we're doing. I just sit back and say yes. I'm gonna pick you up when I'm at work. What time I'll be doing? Cutting at 4 30. I just gotta go home and shower and change and shit. Missing you, missing you more, blah, blah, blah. blah. Alright, let me say something here. This shit doesn't always work on every woman, it doesn't always work on every girl. I feel like if I text a girl and I'm like picking you up at 4, be ready. She's gonna tell me, hey, 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 like, I actually have work, or hey, like, I'm actually busy, like, I actually have... Sorry, I don't care if you're gonna tell me if a girl really likes you, shut the fuck up. If you're busy at 4pm, if you got something good, and I come and text you saying, get ready for 4 o'clock, you're gonna tell me to shut the fuck up. Let's, let's be honest here. These situations can only happen once in a very very lucky blue moon don't think this is every man's i know guys will see this now there's not telling girls be ready at five biatch i already booked the ticket biatch you're gonna get you're gonna get blocked don't do that ask the girl first hey what are you doing today are you free okay cool be ready do it like that don't be like this guy that's saying um movies are oh shut up you're gonna get ahead sex is supposed to come naturally dudes be like please can i fuck no one is saying, please, can I fuck? Like, and one thing I don't understand is why don't girls just want to fuck? Like, men, like, why is it always us that just want to fuck? Why don't you guys want to fuck? And the sad story is, when shit hits the fan, it's always the girls that want to fuck more than the guys. Why do we have to always beg for something you actually look you want to do? Why? I don't, that's one thing I don't understand. And yes, the women are laughing at us, yes. Yes, I can see the laughing faces, yes. Yeah, we're gonna beg, we're gonna beg, because we, we don't have time for the long, th we don't have time for the long thing, you feel me, like, ugh, everyone, ugh. fucking hell, man. Okay, let's go. We'll bring it back with sound effects, funny. Get rights activists. We bring in the studio this morning, one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should they call you Mr. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming here. Good morning. Why are you gay? Uh, I've seen this, man. <laughs> Fast replies get you head. It doesn't. It gets you actually blocked. Like, shut the fuck up. Some girls actually just think you're a bit weird for replying too fast. Don't listen to these stupid Twitter people. Um, a man pouring drinks in your mouth in the club counts as a body count. What the fuck? What do you mean a man pouring drinks in your mouth in the club counts as a body count? It counts as five body counts. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's like seven. Yo, if I'm ever going to chat to you and I see that you've had drinks poured down your throat in the club and you now want to come and now do please wife me towards me, I can even punch your uncle for that one. Don't do that. You were in the club, tongue was out, and you was getting drinks poured down your throat. And now you want to come to me and ask to take you out on dates? Never. It's not gonna, It's not possible. You have been molested. You have been. You've had. You've been. You had a train run on you at that point. Don't do that. That's just. A, that's foul. I love the girls that are bougie at the club. Yeah, high heels. Yeah, they don't want to come on your table. You have to beg them to come on your table. I love them like that. Don't be sticking out your tongue and then thinking I'm gonna come and wife you. Wife call. Shut up. Your, dead ass, your best friend dead ass be the person you hang out with the least, like what the fuck? Yeah, you know, I, I feel like, and then when you when you hang out with them, you're just like, it's like, where the fuck you been, nigga? Like, where have you actually been? I've been chilling with some weirdos, like, I don't know why that's the case, that's so weird. Um, Jonathan is such a greedy name, it's John and Nathan, oh, Nathan. Yeah, some people just need to just shut up, but it's true though. Um, he met me in my I'm going to stay single phase now I'm obsessed with him every single girl that I've actually had anything serious with I've always spoken using their mouth to say I just want to stay single I just want to focus on myself Biatch! two months later you're texting me when am I seeing you next shut up you're never doing that man I want to have a reality show themed party with a confessional room and all yeah do it then like, don't tweet it, do it. Just do it. Like, so shock the world. Like, just actually do it. 
Um, maybe I'm dramatic for going to doctors for a broken acrylic. The nurse put a plaster in it and sent me home. India, you're very dramatic. Come on. You, come on. Even if I was at doctor, I'll send you back home. What are you doing? All couples should buy a set of boxing gloves and fade at least once. Do you know what? I saw something today. I saw um, a TikTok today. It was like, oh, your boyfriend is still beating you. Uh, well, I guess you guys are going to have karate kids. Do you, you get it? I, I just... <laughs> Some humour is just so dumb. Like, guys, don't buy a boxing glove and stop punching up your, your, your husband. You're going to get knocked out, honestly. Like... And then you're gonna go on Twitter and you're gonna start causing trouble. Yeah, don't do that. It just doesn't make sense. Jesus. Miss, get out of the car. Are you on drugs right now? No, no, no. My car came out. I mean, I had somebody help me before. And apparently the brake did not stop. Do you know you're driving on three wheels right now? Your wheel's completely out. You just crashed into this gentleman right here. You're a hazard. You're on the freeway. Hey, on the freeway. You need to get out of the car. Just, just get out of the car, miss. You're on drugs right now. You're on painkillers. Yes, you are. You are on some drugs right now. You gotta deep the wheel. What are you doing? No, I didn't see that wheel go. No, she's violated. No, brother's actually violated. Look at how can you be driving with this? And she was doing top speed. No, she's taking a piss. Yeah, she was on pills. Yeah, that's fucked. That is so fucked. Oh my god. Having eight and three paychecks. His Moncler Parmain to Puffer comes first. Stop lying. You just shut up and go and eat your food, man. Girls don't be buying boys Moncler. Am I bugging? Where are these girls that buy boys Moncler? Where? Girls don't be buying guys Moncler. It's just not, you're not buying guys Parmesan and Moncler. Don't do that. You're just not doing that. Go eat your food, man. What are you talking about? If you don't want me, there's the door. <laughs> This, this is girls. This is actually girls. If you don't want me, there's the door. You look at the door, there's no fucking exit. You, they don't want you to go, but they'll tell you to fuck off and go and die. Girls, please, if you want me to go, tell me to... Why are you telling me if you don't want me, there's the door? But this is the door. This is the fucking door. <laughs> oh, it's too funny, man. Oh, my God. Do you not reckon you can buy confidence? That is such an amazing tweet. It only got like eight likes, though, but... A lot of people aren't confident. I don't know why a lot of people aren't confident. I think certain people just don't know how to just be themselves around others because everyone just cares too much about, about what other people think. Um, I don't have an advice. That's even my guy, Taser Black. But I think just learn to not give a fuck about what people think. Honestly, it's the best thing ever. The best sleep is when you're underneath a motherfucker you love. Not really. I just feel like I need a whole bed to myself. I need to sleep in weird angles. I need to just knock the fuck out. Not next to somebody that's gonna just be trying to cuddle me and breaking my neck and shit. I randomly bleached my brows white earlier and my nigga's like, I'm gonna need you to wrap this look up by tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, I need to be a guy like this. I need to be one of those guys that just tells my girl, Switch that shit up, don't fuck around. Like, I can't say the guy said I'm gonna use to wrap this look up by tomorrow. Oh my god. No, but girls actually be experimenting for batting though. Like, if I'm with you and I like you and things are going great, don't go start switching up your eyebrows. Why are you gonna bleach your eyebrows blonde? Like, it just, just stick to what I already like. Stop being annoying. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, one more, guys, just to end it up. When you open a snack and you hear her paws running your way, Girls are freeloaders when it comes to food. They will literally 
Like, they'll tell you they're not hungry, but they are fucking starving. Guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that content. Um, that was actually hilarious. I had so much fun recording that. If you guys wanna see more, comment it below and give this video a lot of likes, thumbs up, subscribe, and put on the post notification bell so you know every time I post another one. Guys, make sure you're out of all of my socials. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Say God, I picked you. You're so more than divine. And she follows all her rituals. She's not from modern time. I've spent all this time here with you, still dreaming like I'm surprised.